Emerson is an incredibly sweet and kind and caring person. She, in our family, we call her the chief hype officer. She often hypes us all up, leaves notes around our house. She loves dance, jazz, tap, lyrical ballet, and she's adding hip hop to the list this year. Emerson was seven when she was frequently getting sick in the mornings. She would start getting sick, have headaches every morning. It progressed to where we knew it just wasn't the stomach flu or anxiety. And a routine eye exam saw that she had something pushing on her optic nerve. So we rushed to Children's Nebraska where an MRI was done and confirmed there was indeed a tumor. So she on New Year's Eve had a tumor resection, a craniotomy. And a few weeks later, she had a second craniotomy and that followed up with six weeks of radiation and nine months of chemo. Our treatment at Children's Nebraska was top level care. I never for once doubted the care that we were receiving there from day one. I felt really comfortable with her providers from meeting with her neurosurgeon at one o'clock in the morning initially to her team of oncology where they would constantly reassure us and tell us it's gonna be okay. Even if we've already talked about the same thing multiple times, they would go over it over and over with us until we had that reassurance and felt good about what we were doing. Children's of Rascal holds an incredibly special place in our heart. Now that we've had care at Children's, we don't wanna go anywhere else. When Emerson was first diagnosed, it was really scary. It was hard for her to understand. Child Life really did a great job. We did a Zoom call where they explained everything that was happening with Emerson in a way that both of them understood that wasn't scary. They really just celebrated us every single step of the way. End of treatment, big celebrations. I think it was really cool that because all her doctors, like they all lined up through the hallway and they all like, clapped her out and then when we drove home, all our family was at our house waiting for us. And it was like a big celebration, so that was really cool. Oftentimes they would make you feel like you were the only patient that they had. She gets to be a kid again. She gets to dance again, do all the favorite things she loves. I would say to a family that she's facing a diagnosis that is major to lean on the resources that the hospital has. They do a great job of connecting you with other organizations that can help you. They also do a great job of connecting you with other families who have been in a situation just like yours. Since Emerson was diagnosed, I feel a calling. I want better for them. I want better health care, better treatment, better resources for them. My children's hospital make dancing possible. I am hopeful that Emerson will get to be a normal kid again. I am hopeful that the word cancer will always be used in the past tense for her as I had cancer and it will never again be I have cancer.